invite your presence afresh. Be free this morning. Holy Spirit, be free. Teach me from above. I don't have it all. Holy Spirit, help me. Help me not to hear the voice of Pastor Buki. Help me to hear, to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, speak to me in a new dimension. Speak to me in a new dimension. Let him speak to me. I don't want to hear a human voice. Holy Spirit, I submit myself to you. My spirit, my soul, and my body, I submit to you, Holy Spirit. Take over. Take charge. Be free this morning, Holy Spirit, to teach. Be free to rebuke. Be free to work miracles. Do only what you alone can do. Ah, Holy Spirit, I want you to take over the service and speak to us. Minister to us. Encourage us. Let us know that you have been our helper. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you are bound. You are not permitted to move. You are not permitted to work. Your, all your early, every demonic forces is bound in Jesus' name. Only the Holy Spirit is allowed to move. Sweet Holy Spirit, take over. I pray that the gifts of the Holy Spirit will be in operation. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge, working of miracles, gifts of healing will be in operation this morning. Lord, do alone what you alone can do and let Jesus be exalted. Don't let anybody go back the same way they have come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be your name forever and ever because we've prayed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. While we are remaining standing this morning, it's going to be good. Hallelujah. Amen. All your enemies are in trouble this morning. Amen. Go and tell three people, say, all your enemies are in trouble. <laughs> tell them, all your enemies are in trouble today. Say, whatsoever is troubling you, God, heaven will trouble them. Say, your enemies will come and beg you because the hand of God will be upon them. The hand of God will be hard upon them. Go and tell to say your enemies will come and beg you <laughs> because the hand of God will be hard upon them. In the name of Jesus, tell us every evil plan concerning your life shall we die by the power of the Almighty God, by the power in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand concerning your life shall we die in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, 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 oh yes. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say powers that are siphoning my blessings. Da! In the name of Jesus, any power siphoning my blessing. Da, 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 da. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, unrepentant witchcraft. Bible says, so far not the witch to live. I want you to know that there are unrepentant witchcraft around us. Some people, that's what they are going through. But today, fire for fire. Say, unrepentant witchcraft. Die the death of Goliath in the name of Jesus. Die the death of Goliath in the name of Jesus. Unrepentant witchcraft. Oh, yes. Die the death of Goliath. Unrepentant witchcraft. Unrepentant witchcraft. Die the death of Goliath. Die the death of Goliath in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say so every plan of the enemy to steal your laughter this year, this December is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy to steal your laughter, to steal your joy this December, we cancel it in Jesus' name. Cancel it in Jesus' name. You will end the year with laughter. You will end this year with joy. You will end this year with victory. With standing, with smile. In your home there shall be no tragedy. We will not weep over anybody. Oh yes, 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 oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. In Jesus' name we be prayed. 
Look at yourself and say, your past errors shall be converted into promotion, into blessing in the name of Jesus. Say, I prophesy to you, your past error shall be converted to promotion, to blessings. And pray for says every say every of my past error. Oh Lord, convert to promotion, convert to blessing, convert to promotion, convert to blessing. Pray, 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 pray. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, angels of the living God, stand against every power, delay my breakthrough. Delay my blessings in the name of Jesus. I release angels of the living God to stand against any power. Delay my breakthrough. Delay my blessings in the name of Jesus. Angels of the living God. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. If you like, close your mouth. Don't speak. Yes. Angels of the living God. Any power, delay my destiny. Any power, delay my blessing. Oh God, angels of the living God, walk against them. Walk against them. Walk against them, walk against them. Oh yes, 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 oh yes. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Two more. So any power making a covenant with the enemy to destroy me, to dislodge me, to put me to shame. In Jesus' name, any power making a covenant with the enemy to dislodge me, to destroy me. I said, Die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh God, arise on my behalf. Oh God, arise on my behalf. Oh God, arise on my behalf. Let my enemies be put to shame by the power and the blood of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh God, arise on my behalf. Let my enemies be put to shame by the power of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness for the rest of the year, I cancel by fire. Every agenda of darkness for the rest of the year, cancel it. I cancel it by fire, by fire, by fire. This month of December, I will not cry. I will not mourn. I will not weep. In the name of Jesus, 2023 shall end with joy. It shall end with victory. It shall end with breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, 2023 shall end with joy. It shall end with victory. It shall end with breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And so shall it be. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now just one minute. Can you put Exodus 14, 14 there? I preach, I, I started a message on Wednesday, power over victory over the powers of darkness and I'm going to continue now you see why I said your enemies are in trouble what did he say the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace hallelujah so go and tell two people who says the Lord will fight for you all your enemies are in trouble this morning the Lord will fight for you and you hold your peace the Lord will fight for you the Lord is fighting for me already in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus name we have prayed we'll be seated sit on your enemies hallelujah <laughs> sit on them no power can destroy you God is going to fight for you God is going to fight for you in the name of Jesus I'm so glad I can be in church this morning. Amen. I've not been here for some weeks. I just want to say almost six, seven weeks I've not been here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Today we are doing victory through praise. Hallelujah. We are in the last month of the year and we are starting a new this month is our covenant of thanksgiving. 
is that the covenant of what? Of thanksgiving. So we are going to explore the power of thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to come to church. Come on Wednesday, come on Saturday. The Bible says, thank God for the online group. Please put your hands together for our online viewers that are watching, wherever they are. Put your hands together. We appreciate you. But the Bible says, they go from strength to strength. They that appear before me in Zion. They that appear before me where? In Zion. So if you can come, don't stay at home. Come and take strength. If you, know, if, if you are far away, then we can understand. But if you are around, says, in fact, God requested them in the Old Testament that they should go to Shiloh every year. That's why they took Jesus to Jerusalem. God requested for them to go physically. So, he expects you to come physically if you can come, if you are around. Don't stay and watch online. They that come, I mean, they appear before me in Zion. They go from where? Strength to strength. But if you traveled and things cannot work, good. But I want to let you know that there is strength in this place. When fire touches fire, it continues to burn. There's power in fellowship. Hallelujah. There's power in fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning we're looking at victory through praise. And I want to say that I want to teach you for a few minutes how to get God to fight for you. Part one. This, this one is, cover, is, is focusing on how to get God to what? To fight. How many of you want God to fight your battle? Because you raise up your hand, God will fight for you. Yeah. If you do what we agree to do today, the Lord will definitely arise and fight for you. Yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I want you to know that God has never lost a battle. And he's not ready to lose his reputation. And when God is fighting for you, can the enemy defeat you? You can't, you, you can't, you see, there's no way the enemy can finish you when God is on your side. Those who said you will not make it, they are the ones that will not see it. But it's a wise pastor. I'm on fire this morning. Because the enemy is going to be put to shame. You will not end this year the way you started it. Everybody here will have a testimony. Don't see you'll be praying about God will visit it. That power that has delayed you this far today marks the end in Jesus' name. We are going to put the devil to shame today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heaven will fight for us in Jesus' name. How do you get God on the scene? I mean, I can share testimony with you. About four or five weeks ago, we were in England and we are traveling back to come to Nigeria. <laughs> Very interesting. So, we're supposed to leave where we're staying at 6.30 in the morning because it's just about 20, 30 minutes to the airport. The flight is like 8.50. So, we were trying to, we were booking a taxi to take us. Suddenly, everybody was canceling. They were not coming. Coming and coming and coming and coming. I want to, I want to do it. I want to tell you things that are very simple so that you can understand it. You can use this, what I'm saying, at any time, at any moment. So the taxis won't show up. Seven o'clock, they won't show up. Seven fifteen, eventually we got one. And then it came. Seven twenty. We need 30 minutes to get to the airport. And then they close that flight and ah. So immediately we got in. The taxi man says, Sir, when is your flight? I said, 8.50. He said, you have missed the flight. I said, no, I have not missed that flight. He said, there is no, I'm not going to work any magic. I said, don't worry. You are not the one who is doing it. God is the one doing it. He was an unyubo man. He was just looking at me strangely. He said, who is wrong with this man? He, he started giving me a lecture. I said, don't worry. I said, I said, I saw, I said it's an attack. Don't prophesy to me. I said, as the Lord leave it. That flight, is, I'm not going to miss it. So after we have traveled down for about five, six minutes, they called us that we left a suitcase back at home. I was so, I said, what do we do? 
The right just, right? He said, what do you say? Turn back. We'll go and pick it. The man said, that does it. It's finished. I said, you will see a miracle. So by the time we turned back, and then we went back to, he, to the house, pick up the suitcase. Traffic has started. You know, I just, I was, I said, the man was saying, I don't have to say anything again, but I said, don't worry. Just stay your own, and then you see what God is going to do. In the midst of the battle, I know it was an attack because we woke up very early. Get everything ready. I said, Satan, you're a liar. I just busted into praise. I began to praise and clap hands and dance. He was looking at me, strange me. In his back, I was clapping. I said, it is no secret what God can do. Ever because. <laughs> I began to sing. I was singing all the way. And the Lord was clearing, clearing. By the time we got there, it was time. It was almost like after it. And I know the flight is closing. In the, I'm sure they have closed the flight. I just, Holy Spirit, what do you do? You see, when you don't know what to do, start to praise. When you don't know what to do, what do I do? Start to praise. I just kept on praising. God said to me, he said, immediately I came down, I know they would have closed the flight. He said, carry your luggage. Just go to the first class lounge. It's check in. I wasn't flying first class. But I said, go there. So, and I heard the Holy Spirit say that. So, I, there was a lot of queue. People missing there. But I, just, I just went there. The man didn't ask me whether you are first class. When he saw me, he saw the glory on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then check, took my passports, checked me. And my wife was a bit confused. Like, Where is this place you are going? I said, just, I just, come, come, come. Just come. Follow me. Just follow me. Don't, don't worry. Uh, followed me. The man was checking us in. Then the woman said, I closed this flight. Who is this? I said, says, just give me two minutes. Give me there's, there's, there's another guy here. After he did everything. And I said, ah, wait, look at your ticket. I said, and that's how we did it. I didn't, make, I didn't miss that flight. I made it. In the, in the midst of storm. I, I have so many testimony, but I just wanted to see that for little, little things, you can even use the power of what? Of praise. You see, you can pray amiss, but you cannot praise amiss. You can what? Pray amiss, you cannot what? Praise amiss. See, praise is the most potent weapon of warfare. Let me tell you something. In the kingdom of God, ladies and gentlemen, when you are now, we are, there are two kingdoms, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. You, are, you, you can't be in the middle, you are in one. You know, when you go to 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Chapter 10. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not what? Are not carnal. Can you put it there? For the weapons of our warfare are not what? They are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. Look at verse 3. It says, For though, look, okay, look, let's go over. For though we walk in the flesh, verse 3, go over. For though we walk in the flesh, but we do not walk according to the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are human beings. We live here. We are, but when you get to the kingdom of God, you don't fight battles where the people of the world fight it. it says, we don't use the same weapon. They use gun. They use arrow. They use juju. They use everything. But no, we don't. For the weapons of our warfare are not what? Are not kind of. Verse 4. So we, we are in the flesh, but we don't wear in the flesh. Verse 4. Can you put verse 4? For the weapons of our warfare are not kind but they are mighty through God. Pulling down what? Stronghold. Can you put it to an NLT? Let's see what it says. New Living Translation. You know, what does it say? Look, can you put another translation there? I want you to see something. It says, for the... Oh my goodness, I need that person. <laughs> we use God's mighty weapon, not worldly weapon. Go back to verse 3. Let's start from verse 3. What does it say from verse 3? Look at it. We are human, but we don't wage war as what? Humans do. Verse 4, what does he say? He says, we use God's mighty weapon, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reason and to destroy false arguments. Hallelujah. So, the weapons, if you read the we, we, we what we use, we don't use human weapons to fight. One of the weapons God has given you in the kingdom is the weapon of praise. 
is the weapon of what? Of praise. When everything else fails, try praise. When everything else what? Fails, try what? Praise. Because praise brings God on the scene. Hallelujah. Praise is a weapon of warfare. It's not just, many of us will come to church and then we do praise and then we just think, oh, oh yes, we are dancing. We are, no, it's not entertainment. Psalm 149. Can I go to Psalm 149? Yes. It says, verse 3. Let them praise his name with dancing. Let them praise his name with instruments of tambourine and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the godly ones be joyful in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. I'm reading verse 5 now. Let the godly one, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their what? On their beds. Just sing praise on your bed. Then what does it become? Look at verse, verse 6. Let the eye precious of our God be in their mouths. A two-edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance on the nations and punishment on the people. To bind their kings with chain and their nobles with shackles and iron. To execute upon them the written judgment. This is the honor of all the godly ones. Hallelujah. So what does praise become? In verse 6, it says, Praise become, let praise be in their mouth. It becomes a two-edged sword to execute vengeance. This morning, God will execute vengeance upon your enemies in Jesus' name. God will execute vengeance upon the, every situation that is causing you pain in the name of Jesus. God will execute vengeance upon that thing that refuses to let you go. God will execute vengeance on them in Jesus' name. What you have been crying at night about, the Lord will execute vengeance in the name of Jesus. You see, praise, let me tell you this. Praise, when you pray, God sends an angel. When you praise, God himself shows up. You didn't get that. I'll say it again. When you pray, God sends, when you pray, God sends angels in answer to what? Prayer. But when you praise, God, what? God shows up. God what? God shows up. Look at, let me, you know why? The Bible says, God, Psalm 50, the last verse there, it says, God inhabits the praises of his people. God inhabits the praises of his people. God inhabits the praises of his people. Whoever sacrifices a tax offering, glorifies, makes a way. It says, God, you see, whosoever, sorry, Psalm 22, verse Three. That's where God invites the praise of the people. I'm coming. I'm going faster than I'm saying, so, so that people can see it. But you are holy, O oh, you who inhabit the praises of what of Israel. Verse twenty-two, verse three says, "But you are holy and true." That version is all right. That thing, something is wrong with that thing. We read it very well. It says you are holy. Psalm 22. Change, the, change to King James Version. Yes. But thou art holy, O thou inhabitest the praises of Israel. So, let me, let, me, let me explain that to you. When you praise, you know, when you put gas, there's an aroma. Abi? We see gas. When gas escapes, there's an aroma. If fire sees, what fire do? Vrrr. The same way, when your praise goes up, God himself shows up. Hallelujah. When your praise grows up, God himself what? Shows up. Bible says he inhabits the praise of his people. Let me show you something. Second Chronicles chapter 5. When they were dedicating the temple of Jerusalem. When Solomon was going to dedicate the temple. I wish we had time to look at it. But ladies and gentlemen, go through it and see. In chapter 5. Bible says, then Solomon assembled the elders in verse 3. You know, the first thing is that after the Solomon he, 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 he brought in silver, gold, treasury, furnishing, brought everything in, but God didn't show up. Then he assembled all the elders, head of Israel, the sons of Israel. They came in, God didn't show up. All the men were before, God didn't show up. The Bible says he brought in, they brought in the Ark of Covenant itself. God did not show up. All the elders of Israel came and Levites carried the ark in verse 4. Then they brought the ark and the tent of the meeting. All the holy vessels were in the tent. So the Levitical priests were brought up. The king Solomon and all the congregation of Israel who were assembled with him before the ark were sacrificing. They sacrificed sheep, but God didn't show up. Then the priests brought the ark. God didn't show up. But when the priests came out of the almost holy place, what did they do? 
The Bible says they brought in leftica singers in verse 12. Leftica singers. The Bible says all clothed in fine linen with cymbals and harp and lyres, and they began to praise God. They began to praise God. And when they lifted up their voices with their trumpet and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, said, For the Lord is good and his message endureth forever. For the Lord is good. And his, that's verse 13. And his message endureth forever. And the Lord, and the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud. God came in when they began to praise him. Because God will inhabit the praises of his people. God will inhabit the praises of his people. Ladies and gentlemen, when everything has failed, praise cannot fail. Because God will take over. If, if you have your point, you don't know what to do. You can hand your battle to God. Praise the spiritual medium where we handle our battle, where we hand our battle to God. Praise the spiritual medium where you hand your battle to God. It says, God, take over my battle. And he began to dance. What did he tell them? Exodus 14 says, the Lord will fight for you. Just hold your peace. The house was filled with the cloud. You know the house of God. God. God came in. Angels are sent to answer prayer. But when they praise, God will show up. This morning, God is going to show up for somebody. God is going to show up for somebody. Psalm 50, the last, the last verse says, the last verse says, Whosoever offereth praise, glorifieth me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, one of the challenges we've had in Adventist churches, they say, oh, we dance and praise because they don't have a revelation of it. They don't have what? A revelation of it. The Bible says that even the message we preach, the first angel's message, what does it do? Fear God and what? And give him glory. For the hour of his judgment has what? Has come. Fear God and give him what? Glory. So how do you give him glory? Whosoever offereth praise, glorifieth me. I would have said it. That message is fear God and give him what? Give him praise. Fear God and what? Give him praise. That's the first angel's message. Fear God and give him what? Praise. So when you praise for the hour of his what? Judgment. Ladies and gentlemen, when you want judgment to come, start with praise. If somebody has been troubling you, the enemy, and you don't know what to do, turn it over to God. Say, God, it's time for judgment. Give him praise. Give him praise. For the hour of his what? Of his judgment has come. This morning, God will judge all your enemies. God will judge all your enemies. God will judge everything that is troubling you. So somebody is angry. Say, why is that? I says, don't you know the Bible says, it is a righteous thing ah! for God to cause tribulation to them that trouble thee. That's the Old Testament. It's the New Testament. See? For it is what? A righteous thing for God to cause what? Tribulation for them that trouble thee. Everything that is troubling thee, maybe sickness, disease, anything, God will judge you this morning. Long stand, some people from January you have not rested. One problem or the other, this morning they shall be judged. They shall be judged. They shall be judged. Let's quickly look at Second Chronicles chapter 20 and then we we'll close from there because of time. And then we we'll continue. The Bible says, after that, hmm, I'm going to move now. Thank you. After that, the Moabites, the Ammonites, together with some Menuhites, came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Now, three nations gathered against just one nation. They came against Israel. Every evil gathering against you shall fail. Yeah. Wherever they gather against you, they shall fall for your sake. Yeah. Hey, and some, of the, and some came and declared this to Jehoshaphat, that a large multitude is coming against you across the Dead Sea from Edom and Observe. Listen, a large multitude came against him. Then Joshua was fearful and set himself to seek the Lord. He called for a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah assembled to seek the Lord. Even to all the cities from Judah, they came to obtain aid from the Lord. You see, when the enemy comes, we must seek God. One of the weapons we have is also the weapon of fasting. This man seek a fast. I said, let's use the weapon of fasting. Let's use the weapon of fasting. And he says, let us fast. Let us assemble. I don't know what you are going through, but fasting is a weapon. To see. We must seek God. Joshua stood in the midst of the assembly and then he, he stretched his forth hand and said to them, O Lord, our God, you are, are you not God in the heavens? Do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? 
In your hand are strength and might, and there's no one who can oppose you. Nothing can oppose your God. Did you not, did you not our God drive out those who lived in this land before your people Israel? You gave it perpetua, perpetually to your descendants of Abraham, who was in the covenant of law with you. And they dwell there. And then you created a sanctuary. And you said, if disaster come upon us, the sword or judgment or pestilence or famine, then we should stand before this temple, temple before you because your name is in this temple. We should cry out to you in our distress and you will hear and deliver. He now reported them. You are going to report something, some people to God this morning. Amen. You know, people report people. They report you. They go to their house, house of Orisha, house of this one to go and report you. Any power reporting you today shall see judgment. Any evil power that takes your name to one altar, fire! Fire! In the name of Jesus. Say with me, say any altar. They have mentioned my name for evil. Any evil altar. They have put my name. What are you waiting for? Catch fire! Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has mentioned your name for evil on any altar, Fire in Jesus' name. Please, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Please go back and watch Wednesday's prayer meeting. Power over the, over the powers of darkness, over powers of witchcraft and evil. Anywhere they mention your name, they shall receive fire. So he said to them, he said, now the sons of, he, now he reported them to God. The sons of Ammon, Moab, Montsir. Who you didn't even allow Israel to invade. But came out from the land of Egypt when they turned away from them and did not destroy them. They didn't touch them. See how they are rewarding us. Those who have help that are rewarding you for evil. You know, you have people, they now reward you for evil. You bless people, they go and reward you for evil. They begin to do bad things against you. Mention your name where they are not supposed to mention your name. They begin to destroy your name. But today there shall be judgment in Jesus' name. Say, see how they are rewarding us. Ah, oh God. You, will you not render judgment on them? For we have not strength enough to stand before this great army that is coming against us. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, those this power that you cannot fight, God will fight for you. Yeah. Our God is stronger to fight those who are stronger than us. I don't know what battle you are going through. Maybe you are going through some battles of people who are stronger than you. Today, they shall die like Goliath. Yeah. Don't stop comparing yourself with them. Compare them with your God. Stop comparing with your, your, yourself. David didn't compare himself with Goliath because there is no way he can fight Goliath in the flesh. But he began to compare him with God. Ladies and gentlemen, how big is your God? How mighty is your God? That thing, can your God deal with it? Yes, he can deal with it. Barrenness, he can deal with it. Cancer, he can deal with it. Sickness, he can deal with it. Family, you can deal with it. Office problem, he can deal with it. No matter what is going on, is your God is bigger than it. This morning, anything that is bigger than you, God will fight it back for you. Say we don't have enough strength on our own. When you don't have enough strength on your own, you turn it over to God. He said to them, he says, and we do not know what we should do, but our eyes are on you. May I hear this morning, you don't know what to do. You are in the right place. When you have a battle that you don't know what to do else, you've tried fasting, you've tried prayer, you've tried crying, you've tried everything. Nothing seems to be working. But today, he says, we do not know what to do. When you don't know, if you're at the point where you don't know what to do, that is the time God wants to fight. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. If anything is making you afraid this morning, hand it over to God. If there's a situation you don't know how to, you don't know how to, you've done everything, it's not working. This morning we are going to hand it over to God. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, hand over your battle to God. It says, our eyes on you. So how do you know I was standing? And they were there with even the Lord. They are infants, with wives, with children. As you were saying in verse 15, then, then the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord came to Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, just says the Lord to you. Do not fear nor be dismayed because of this great army. For the battle is not yours, but God. Hallelujah. Tell someone, say, do not fear. Say, do not be afraid. Say, for the battle is not yours, but God. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. God is saying to someone here, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged because of what? Of this great problem. He looks so great. He looks so mighty. He looks so insurmountable. For the battle is not yours. But who? God. This morning, God will fight for you. This morning, God will fight for you. This morning, God will fight for you. And he says, go. It will not be necessary for you to fight in this conflict. Ah! Take 
take your position, stand. Take your position, stand and observe the deliverance of the Lord for you. That's verse. Look at it. Change that. I'm reading verse 17. It says, take your position and observe. You will not have to fight this battle. Take your position, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Hallelujah. You won't fight in this battle. You know, for fighting for yourself, God is going to fight for you. You will see the deliverance God is going to give to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Says, oh, it says, what he says to them, hand over the battle to the Lord. Let's go to verse 20. And so they arose early in the morning and went to the wilderness of Tekoa. When they went out, Joshua stood and said, listen to me, O Judah. Ye that dwell in Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God and you will succeed. Believe also his prophet and you will prosper. Huh? Listen to me. It says, look at us. It says, believe the Lord your God. Are you what? It says, what well, says? Listen to me, Judah. Be of Jerusalem. Have faith in God and you will be upheld. Have faith in your prophets and you will be successful. Please go to put Kim James Version there. Kim James Version. I want you to see that place. I don't want you to miss it. It says, KJV. It says, Oh, ye have such a said, Believe the Lord your God. You shall what? Be established. How many of us want to believe God this morning? It says, You shall be established. <laughs> believe his prophets. I'm speaking to you. Believe the word I'm saying to you, and you shall what? You shall prosper. You shall prosper. You shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Now look at how they did. How did they handle the battle? How did they give it to God? Listen, see how they gave it to God in verse 21. And he consulted with the people and he appointed singers for the Lord and those praising him in the holy attire and they went with those equipping. Now this is a man going to warfare with the enemy that is far stronger. But what did they do? Bible says they appointed, New King James Version, or NIV, says, they appointed singers, praisers. They appointed singers, praisers. They went out. They appointed those who will sing to the Lord who should praise the beauty of his holiness. So they went out before the army and were saying, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good and his mercy is endured forever. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endured forever. This is a man going to warfare. When you go to warfare, you carry soldiers. You carry weapons. You carry this. They didn't take all that. They took the weapon of the kingdom. They took the weapon of the kingdom. They, took, they carried, instead of soldiers, they took a choir. They took praisers. They took praise band. They took people who were playing the drums and they were going to the front battle. The enemy was there with their sword, with their armor, with their guns, with their everything. They didn't take that, but they took the weapons of warfare, which is a praise. And they began to sing, For the Lord is good and his mercy is endure it forever. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endure it forever. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endure it forever. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endure it forever. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endure it forever. Hallelujah! Bible says, and when they began singing, oh, verse 22. When he began singing and praising the Lord, the Lord sent ambush against the Ammon, the Moab, and the Mount Seir, who came against Jesus, and they were defeated. When they began singing, God sent ambush. This morning, God will ambush all your enemies. Yeah. Everyone troubling you, anything troubling you, God will ambush them in Jesus' name. They handed over the battle to God. And as they are singing, Bible says God sent an ambush. Look at what happened. The Ammonites, there are three nations fighting them. So two nations combined to destroy one. After they are destroyed, two nations combine and fight one. After they fought each other, after they fought that one, destroyed that nation, they began to fight each other. <clears throat> hey! <laughs> Hallelujah! There's, there's something they do in Yoruba. You will be giving yourself medicine. You will be fighting each other. You will be fighting each other. All your enemies shall fight each other. Wherever they gather against you, they shall fight each other. They will destroy each other. They will destroy each other. Power will destroy them. In the name of Jesus, they will face to face, face, face with each other and destroy in the name of Jesus. Anyone inflicting pain to you, pain shall be inflicted to him. Those who gather against you shall fall for your sake. Ah, the Bible says, you see, anything the devil is doing, God has the original. God does not need weapons to fight, ladies and gentlemen. The God that we serve doesn't need weapons to fight. 
I can share testimony with you. Oh my goodness, time. He, he, the God that we serve does not need these things to fight. He, 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 all he needs is when you praise, you hand it over to him. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and after that, Bible says they, 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 each man attack his companion to destroy each other. Look at, look at verse 24. And Judah was came to watch the tower of wilderness. And they turned to the vast army and saw only corpses lying on ground. <laughs> and no one escaped. None of your enemies shall escape. None of them shall escape. They will destroy each other. In the name of Jesus. They will destroy each other in the name of Jesus. But obviously God is angry with the wicked. So I said there's a difference between the wicked and the, en the enemies. The enemies, you see, people are just generally wicked. People you didn't do anything to, they gather against you. Situations that you, I mean, some people have been struggling with some things for years. The enemy has stood there. But today marks the end in Jesus' name. Today marks the end in Jesus' name. Not only did God stop it, but say, and what happened after that? Then Jesus gathered his people together and they, and they gathered the plunder. There was supernatural abundance. Every time God fights for you, there are usually abundance after. Every time, go and see it. Go and check in the Bible. Every time God's come out to fight, there's usually abundance. This year, before the year end, you shall gather abundance. You will see abundance. You will see abundance. In the name of Jesus. Listen, the Bible says, they, they began, they gathered the plunder. On the, and it, it, the plunder was so much that it took them three days. It was so much to carry it. Three days. God will surprise you. Say for your shame, you shall receive double. Where you have been fitted with pay, you shall receive double. You shall receive double in the name of Jesus. Abundance shall be gathered for three days. In the name of Jesus. They turn the battle to God. For the Lord he is good and his mercy is endured forever. Everyone say, For the Lord is good. Amen. Say, And his mercy is endured forever. Amen. Say, For the Lord is good and his mercy is endured forever. Amen. What praise does is that it's a warfare against the enemy. When you stand up to praise, you are turning over the battle to who? To God. And when God takes over, you cannot lose, He destroys the enemy. I'll give one more example and then we pray. The book of Acts chapter 16. I wish I had time. Maybe that's the whole sermon itself. But I'll just mention it. The Bible says, on one occasion, Paul and Silas, they went to a place of prayer. In Psalm verse 16, a process, a guy possessed with spirit of divination, met us. Who kept on doing, his pastors were making fortune telling with her. With her. I mean, this girl will say, will say, because somebody is saying something and it's happening, does not mean it's from God. There's a spirit of divination. She followed Paul, shouting, These are men's servants of God, most high, who proclaim to us the way of salvation. She did it for many days. After some time, Paul became troubled. Paul said, I command you, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her. Every demon trouble you, in the name of Jesus, out by fire. Anyone following you, every problem follow you, I say, out by fire. Paul said, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out of that. And at that moment, when the people saw that they, their prophets were gone, they were using, they are profiting from business. Anyone who still started church because they want to make profit is not the spirit of God. They are using that girl to make profit. You see, when they saw all that, they dragged Paul and Silas to the marketplace and then they brought them to, 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 to the magistrate. And the crowd rose up against them. And the magistrate told them, and they beat them. You see, and they threw them into the inner prison. And fasten their feet with socks. Ladies and gentlemen, they threw them with inner prison. They threw them to the dungeon, underground prison. Put chain on their right, on their legs, on their legs, on their hands. They put them, verse 23, at midnight. Everyone say midnight. I can't hear you. Say midnight. Say midnight. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and were singing hymns to God. And the prisoners listened to them. Tonight, this morning, you may be, this may be your midnight. The midnight is the darkest hour. At the Abraham's tower, when they threw Paul and Silas to prison for not for doing the right thing, Paul and Silas said, Oh God, perhaps it's Paul, God says Silas, come. When everything fails, praise does not fail. Let's show them some power. Let's show them the God that we have. Let's show them what God can do for us. And so they sat down at midnight, 
right in the prison, in the dungeon. Bible says at midnight. There is a judgment at your midnight hour. That's when, when everything is so, so dark, when this is not working, when you don't know what to do, you can begin to praise. Those people began to praise. As they were praising, they began to sing hymns. But the prisoners were listening to them. But suddenly, as they were singing, but the suddenly, everyone said suddenly. Say suddenly. There was a great earthquake. So the foundation of the prison was shaking. Hallelujah. And all doors, immediately, all doors were open. Someone said as they were singing, God, God, you know God inhabits the praises of his people. God began to hear them sing. And God, you know, when, when you enjoy music, you began to tap your leg. Pa, 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 pa. And God began to tap his leg. Pa, pa. When God tapped his leg, earthquake will occur. When God taps his leg, earthquake will occur. And the Bible says the foundation was shaken. God will resolve problems from their foundation this morning. In the name of Jesus. Every problem, every challenge shall be rooted from his foundation in the name of Jesus. It's going to happen immediately. Hallelujah. It's going to happen immediately. If you believe it's going to happen immediately. It's happening this morning. It's not going to be next week. It's happening this morning. Immediately. 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 Suddenly, there's a miracle. Suddenly, there's a victory. In the name of Jesus, believe his prophet and you shall prosper. Immediately, all doors were open. Every door closed against you shall be open. I speak to every door. I say, Ephrata. I say, Ephrata, be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Every door the enemy has closed from January to November. Be open. Be open. Ephrata. Be open. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all those who are troubling you today marks the end. Hey, there's going to be an earthquake here this morning. There's going to be an earthquake here this morning. There's going to be an earthquake here this morning. There's going to be an earthquake here this morning. Every problem shall be destroyed from the foundation. In the name of Jesus, you will not see them anymore. The Egyptian you are seeing today, you will not see it anymore. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The walls of Jericho, they couldn't get through it for seven days. They were there and then they were marching around it. But on the seventh day, which is a Sabbath day, on the seventh day, and today is the seventh day of the week, I want to say something to you. The Bible says they came there, and the Bible says this time, don't, do not keep quiet. Say shout. And as began the shout, they shouted. And the Bible says, and the walls was rooted off from the foundation. The walls fall. I decree every wall who has suspended you shall fall this morning in the name of Jesus. As you shout, I said, let the walls fall. Let the walls fall. Let the walls fall. Let them be destroyed from their foundation. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Let the walls fall. In the name of Jesus. This morning we are handing our battles over to God. Supernatural abundance. I'm telling you, God still works wonders. The Bible says, it's look, at, look, look at Exodus 15. When, when they were coming out of, it says, fearful in praises. Ah! It says, doing wonders, hallelujah. I want you to see that scripture. He said, oh yes. What does he say? He says, fearful in what? In praises. Who is like unto the verse 11? Oh God. Among the God, who is like you? Glorious in what? Holiness. Fearful in what? In praises. Doing what? Wonders. This morning, God will do wonders for you. 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 <laughs> God will do wonders for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This thing works anywhere. When we started this church, I can give you testimonies of praise. I preached this sermon, I preached it a long time ago. The next Sabbath, one boy was coming to church. <laughs> I don't know whether but I knew you remember that Sabbath, this testimony. He was coming to church and then police caught them. Police, police caught them and they, they, they took them for Ruja and they put them in prison. He said, after hours, he just remember that pastor said, praise can do anything. 
right in the cell. They said they took them inside, inside. Because she began to praise, began to praise, began to praise. He was singing praises, and the police and everybody was hearing. After some time, they said, "Who is this boy that is singing?" He just kept on singing, kept on singing. And the DPO guy said, "Look, look, 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 look. This boy, take him out, take him out, take him out." That's how they released him. This morning, everything that I said you banned shall be released in Jesus' name. I say you shall be released in Jesus' name. Nothing can stop you anymore. You become unstoppable. You become unstoppable. That business will not crash. I said that business will not crash. It will not end the way the devil planned it. In the name of Jesus. There is nothing praise. When God takes over. Some of you are here. When the sister came. One of our sisters. They said she had lumps in her breast. Cancer. And it, she said, I went into, it says, they were doing 24 hour sprays. And I went to go and do 24 hour sprays. Some of you think praise is just something. No, no. She said she did 24 hour sprays. She was supposed to be operated on Monday morning. She did 24 hour sprays. When, they, when she got to the operating room, the man, the doctors put her down. And then they started feeling, the whole thing has disappeared. Everything has disappeared. Everything has disappeared. Everything. Say, get up, get up, get up. We can't operate on you. Those who are thinking they will operate on you, they have lied in the name of Jesus. Everything troubling you this morning shall disappear. It shall disappear. It shall disappear. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can tell you testimony upon testimony. A man of God. I had him share his testimony. He had stage four cancer. And they sent him home to die. And he said, there's nothing we can do for you again. Go home and die. So he went back to his hometown. And he was there. So after, after he had spent all, he was, first of all, he was angry. He was dejected with God. He wasn't doing that. He said, I was going through. So one day, he began to read his Bible. And then he remembered the weapon of praise. And he said to me, he says, if, I, I remember they said, if nothing else don't work, if everything does not work, why don't you try praise? So he said, I, he said, listen to his voice. He said, I took myself. I, I said, I couldn't walk very well. I was tired. I knew I, I had no strength. But I said, God, if I'm going to go back to the back, he went to the forest behind the house. I said, I will praise you here till I die. You either heal me or I die here. He says, I'm not going to go because nobody will find me here until I die. He crawled out of the road and then walked there and began to praise God. Praise him one hour, two hours. For the Lord is good and his message endures forever. For the Lord is good and his message endures forever. Three, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours praise in the wilderness. By the time he gets to the sixth hour, he says something in his strength began to return. Before he knew it, by the time he was seven eight hours, he was totally healed, free of cancer, free of cancer, free of cancer. Anything the enemy has thrown through you shall disappear this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to hand over our battles to God now. How many of us have battles that you need God? You need God to handle. You have a situation, you need your God to handle it. Yes, it's people that are stronger than you. Sister, rejoice. Oh, yeah, yeah, come, 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 come. We're going to do some praise. Now listen. Come, 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 come. Praise. High praises. They're going to dance. I say, Lord, I'm handing the battle over to you. Now listen to me. Come, yeah, yeah, come. Yeah, yeah. We're going to dance, dance. Praise band, come, 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 come. We're going to dance. It's a dancing spree. Hallelujah. Dancing spree. Hallelujah. <laughs> now listen, listen. Please don't miss this. How did John the Baptist die? Let me, let, let, let me help your theology. Some of you, let me just help you a little bit. John the Baptist, how did he die? Why did he die? Matthew 14, go and read it. I don't have time anymore. I'll read it to you. The Bible says, King Herod, <laughs> Herod, the son, the daughter of Herodias came and then she began to dance. She began to dance and the head of Herod swelled. His head swelled so much that he said to him, he says, ah, look at the way this girl is dancing to praise the king. Because he knows that you dance to praise the king. She danced so much that this girl, that the father says, anything you want, I will give it to you. And that girl asked for something evil. I'm telling you, God said to me, says, you can dance so much. Are you following me? That God in heaven will say, whatsoever you desire, I was, I will give it to you. 
when you come to church and you are doing like this, posting the presence of God, you are, you are not yet giving the battle to God. When you want God to do something, you dance. You dance so much that at the end of God will say, my father will say, hey, look at my daughter, look at my son, look at the way he's dancing, hallelujah. He says, ah, anything he wants, I want, I will give it to you. Now listen, hey, do you know the only barren woman in the Bible? I'm preparing you for somewhere. The only woman that was barren in the Bible was the wife of who? King David. Why did God make her barren? David was dancing. And then what did he do? He criticized. He said, why are you dancing like this? In the presence of God. Watch what you say when you come here. Watch what you say. You don't know. You don't know why I'm dancing. Ha. You don't know. Hey, you don't know my battles. When somebody is dancing and you are using your mouth to say something. Hey, may the Lord forgive you in Jesus' name. God, there was a curse on her. Because that man was dancing. And then the angel will say, look at you. Dancing like what? He wasn't there, blah, 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 blah. You can change the key if you want. to hand over our battles to God. If you don't understand English, sorry, if you don't understand Yoruba, <laughs> that song says, I am the only one that understands. Sister Nena, are you listening? The reason I'm dancing, you can't understand. You, because you don't know my battles. And you are using your mouth to say, look at this man, the way he's dancing. If you know where I've been, I know where I was last year, at this time of the year, last year. I know where I was. So when I'm singing, I'm dancing. You don't know why. I learned to hand over my battles to God. And I'm telling you this morning, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, move for me, oh. Say, move, 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 move. Don't disturb me. Say, give me a chance. If they don't give you a chance, you can come to the center. If you like, you can come to the center. You can come here and dance. Say, because I have a situation. I'm handing over that thing. Now, 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 listen, 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 listen. While you are dancing in your spirit, in your mind, telling God, God, that situation, take it over. Lord, that situation, fight my battles. Uh, you, uh, Lord, enough is enough. I mean, I believe enough is enough. Enough, say, I will not end the year in this same situation. I will not end this year the same way he has started it. I'm not ending this year. No, 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 this December. Oh yes, this December there's going to be a miracle. <laughs> oh yes. On Wednesday, I will talk about 11th hour miracle. You must not miss that message. 11th hour miracle. I last talk this on Wednesday. So, but what I'm saying to you now is that God, I must not end this year the way I started it. God is 11th hour God. And he's going to do something. Are you ready? If they disturb you, move from them. Say, it's, not, it's between me and God, not between me and anybody. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, go ahead, let's dance. Oh, Lua, it's so big. so big.
for one minute. We're going to still praise for another five, ten minutes. But I want you to let God say, Lord, I release that situation to you. I want you to mention that situation. Lord, I give it to you. Fight this battle. No one can fight it. It's bigger than me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, you can lead praise too. Yeah. Just after this, you can. You see, give it to God. Give it to God. Mention that situation. Say, Lord, take over. Lord, take over. They thought it is over. They thought it is over for me. Lord, no! The devil is a liar. I will not end this year with this situation. It will not end the way the devil planned it. Lord, I'm going to end this year with joy. Lord, take my battle. Take my battle. Take my battle. Take my battle. It's only you. Fight for me. I don't want to fight for myself. Fight for me. Fight for me. Mention dance with understanding lord i'm going to praise you until until i see the answer yes 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 let god arise let my 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 god arise. let my god arise now i want you to give god you know what it says? Bible says, it's fearful in praise, it's doing wonders. Say, oh God of wonders, as I dance, I give it to you. I just worship you. Take it over, 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 take it over. Now praise. Don't let anybody disturb you. Move out and say, I'm dancing for God. It doesn't matter who it is. It's between me and God. Why go ahead? Talo ta bire o ala para bire o talo ta bire o ala para o ba to gbe o go lari o go lati du o go lo si du o go o ba ti ki su o ba ti ki re talo ta bire o ala para bire 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 Up, 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 up
Oh, oh. 